Oops, <laughs> sorry kitty cat. <laughs> Hi, um, this is Robin Bremer and uh, you're watching Feed My People Joy. And uh, today I'm going to go over every day is exciting for me. So I hope you listen to my podcast every day. I'm trying to give little bits of information that sets you free. If I give too much, uh, it boggles your mind because uh, God gives me too much sometimes and I have to go write it down and meditate on it for days and it's just like, oh, my mind's going like that because I'm so excited because God's given me so much revelation. So I try to give you a bite at a time. So I try to do these short little videos. Um, my name is Robin Bremer and today I want to go over a scripture that I think will set you free. It, and that's my goal to set you free and it's Galatians um, 3... 21 through 25. So 321 and this, oh well, let's see. Let me just read it to you. Okay. Is the law then against the promises of God? Certainly not. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, okay, keep that in mind. If there would have been a law given that could have given life, truly righteousness would have been given by the law. In other words, you would have been made right by the law. But the law kills. And it doesn't give life. So God wanted to get rid of the law and bring in the Holy Spirit, bring in what Jesus did. But, verse 22, But the scripture has confined all under sin, that the promise by faith in Jesus Christ not in yourself and obeying the law, but in Jesus Christ, might be given to those who believe. Okay, But before faith came, we were kept under guard by the law, kept for faith, which would afterward be revealed. Therefore, the law was our tutor. It was a tutor to bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after faith has come, we're no longer under the tutor. We're no longer under the law. Okay? We're no longer under the law because the law was a shadow of things to come. The law revealed that we needed Jesus. We needed a Savior. The law revealed that there's no way we can follow the law. We're always going to mess up. So Jesus came and he lived a perfect life, followed the law, didn't break any of the law, fulfilled all the law of the Ten Commandments, all the law, fulfilled it perfectly, took the God's wrath and punishment for all of our sins on his body for us, and then the law brings us into faith with Jesus. In other words, the promise by faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. The law was to bring us to Jesus, and we were kept under the law until Jesus came, and now we're no longer under the law. That's not a set of rules that we have to follow. We don't have a set of rules. We have a Holy Spirit inside of us leading us and guiding us. We have faith that God even gives us that faith that we believe in Jesus and His finished work. So that's a really cool thing, I think. So we're not under the law. We were under the law until Jesus came, and then He then we're justified by faith in Him. And for your own reference, I'd like you to go get your Bible and check it out, Galatians, that's Galatians uh, 3, um, 21 through 25. And my name is Robin Bremer, and you can get more information and podcasts and illustrated, uh, really cool illustrated um, charts and stuff like that on my website, robinbremer.net, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.